Hi guys, this is Rachel, and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to do finger waving and pin curl. Um, this is a request from one of the YouTube subscribers, and um, as you guys know, I'm going to cosmetology school, and um, this person asked me if I could do some tutorials on some of the things I've learned. So, I'm going to teach you what I learned first, and that's finger waving and pin curling. So, for finger waves, you want to start off by parting the hair right directly above the corner, inside corner of the eye. And I did that just the same time. And what I'm using is a 7 inch all purpose comb with a uh, thin side and a thick side. So I'm going to use the thin side to brush back the hair. I'm just going to brush that right back. Not directly back, but like at an angle. Okay, and now I'm going to start what is called C shaping, and you do need this for any finger wave that you do. So I'm going to place my two fingers, one right at the part, and the other one right next to it. Nice firm grip, and I'm just going to brush it down into its original position. And this is called C shaping, and you need this for every finger wave that you do. Because this starts the movement. See that C shape that I've created? Now, when you're doing finger waves, you can use gel or finger waving lotion. I'm just using water for right now because the hair does need to be very saturated in order for this movement to stay. Because it's a very sleek, waved look, and it just it comes out better. So. I like to really wet that hair down. And I'm going to start. Now when I say movement, that's just a, a kind of um, pattern that you put in the hair. Um, like if you're doing rollers, you're going to put, you know, that's the movement. Or if you blow, by, blow dry it straight, you know, the straightness of the hair is the movement. So that's what I mean by when I say movement. And it's not the natural wave pattern of the hair, like if you naturally have curly hair. Like, if you were to have naturally curly hair, and if I was to blow dry it straight, then the straight would be the movement that I'd put into your hair. It's just straight movement. Okay, so, C-shaping. Now, when I get done with that, place my fingers in that position that I had to use the C-shape. And you don't have to take your fingers off. You can just do C-shape and then go right into finger waving. Now, for that, I'm going to use the thick side of the comb because I find it works a lot easier to grab the hair. So, I'm going to take it to comb with the length away. And I just do that. You can do whatever you want. Take a little bit at a time until you get used to it. But I like to do that because I think it's the perfect amount. I'm going to put that comb right in the hair. I don't want it too much an angle this way or that way. I want all the hair to be in the teeth. So straight up and down with the head. And I'm just going to pull that forward. Lay it down. Pinch it. Brush it back. Rock it forward so it keeps that movement. And I'm just going to keep going straight back with that so I, I have all the hair coming this way. Now, when I do that, I'm just going to place my two fingers right from the part again and just the very tips of my fingers, probably just right to your, your knuckle right there. Just that part, touching the edge of that last part of that movement, just like so. Thick side of the comb, two comb length away, bring it forward right into that last movement, but don't just bring it right to the, right to where it starts to blend in. Don't go too forward because you don't want to mess it up and you don't want to, you know, not bring it forward enough. So just so it's right equal so it's really blends in with that first movement. Lay it down, pinch it, and went back. Rock forward so you don't mess up the movement. You see? 
Can I just like two? Like a cement mason. Just really get that movement nice and flat. Okay. And I have room for about one more. I'm going to take it off to see. I have room for one more there. Okay. So I'm going to put my fingers two away from the part, two comb length away, bring it forward, lay it down, pinch it, brush it down, rock it forward. That down a little more because it really needs to be cemented to that head. It doesn't have to be, but that's just how I like it. So it looks nice and smooth. Whoa, and a dark tip. And this is what you should have. Okay, now we're going to start on the second row. And you want it to be an S shaped pattern. So we went this way. Now we're going to go the opposite way. So now, this ridge is going to act as the part, okay? So you're going to put your middle finger right next to that ridge of the last movement that you created. Your pointer finger next to it, thick side of the comb, two comb lengths away. Bring it backwards towards you. Lay it down, pinch it, brush down. And rock it back. You want to rock it in the direction that you just... Home. It should look like that. Okay, I'm going to try to do it like this so you guys can really see what I'm doing. Okay, so two fingers. Oh no, and this just came out. So I don't really like moving this thing. This is stand. Let's see, suction cup to this, the tape. Okay, two fingers. Comb. Two legs away. Bring it back right until it blends into that other movement. Lay it down, pinch it, brush down. Rock it back. You can smooth it out. And you you can use banana clips if you want to hold this in place. Going with the movement that I created. Like that. And when you pin curl, if you want it to really stay in place, you can do that. But I'm not supposed to for state work, so I'm trying not to. But just to show you if you really want to hold it in place. Okay, so now I'm going to do this last movement. Again, lay my hands down right in the middle of this, right up against that ridge. And now it's just gathering the rest of it, so I don't have to measure. Bring it back, lay it down, pinch it, and brush down. Rock it back. And of course, it's not it's not staying because the hair isn't wet enough, and I'm at a really weird angle right now. So and I'm just gonna put this one right moving with that movement, just like that. And that's how you get that going. That's the wrong way. Hello. Okay, so that's your finger way. That's what it should look like. And I'm not a pro at this, so. Sorry if it looks kind of iffy. I you know there's probably pro finger wavers out there, but you get used to it once you do it because it was very awkward and very frustrating for everybody when we started it. But no, it's not 